The first MITRE ATT&CK managed service evaluation was completed, and CrowdStrike Falcon provided a strong performance with 99% detection coverage. This was a closed book evaluation that focused on the managed service capabilities by scoring MDR vendors based on how effectively and comprehensively they were able to identify malicious activity associated with a sophisticated adversary without any prior knowledge of the attacker before starting the evaluation. CrowdStrike's Falcon Complete accurately reported 75 of the 76 techniques used by the adversary. Not only did Falcon Complete identify 99% of the techniques within 30 minutes of the test commencing, it was the only vendor with integrated first-party intelligence that enabled it to correctly identify the nation-state adversary. This level of integration, visibility, and understanding of adversaries gives Falcon Complete a huge advantage over the competition. Now let's dig deeper into the attack. We'll keep track of the number of techniques reported by CrowdStrike in the top right corner and follow a timeline of events in minutes. On the first day of the attack, the adversary gained access to the initial victim system with a spear phishing email. CrowdStrike Falcon immediately detects the malicious macro as it executes from the document, which establishes persistence on the system by creating a scheduled task. The system also communicates out to a command and control server via web protocols over an encrypted channel. Within minutes, CrowdStrike Falcon Complete and Overwatch teams identify the attack and decipher the attacker XOR cipher to intercept and read what they are communicating to their C2 server. They are also able to attribute the attack to the nation-state adversary, known as Oil Rig by MITRE, or as Helix Kitten by CrowdStrike Intelligence. The adversary continues the intrusion by performing discovery on the host's attributes, such as user information, system properties, and network configuration. And that wraps up the first day, so next we'll take a look at day two of the attack. The first action by the simulated Helix Kitten on the second day is to download additional ingress tools. CrowdStrike Falcon's machine learning capabilities detect the download of the malicious file. The adversary then acquires the user credentials by using the Golang-based tool downloaded earlier and dumps the credentials from the Windows password store. The adversary then moves laterally within the environment to enlarge their footprint by writing a web shell to another discovered system via SMB and placing it within the EWS folder for exchange. It then establishes persistence on the newly compromised system. Moving on to the third day, the adversary reduces the activity to remain unnoticed by defenders and only maintains a scheduled task running a backdoor with communications to the command and control infrastructure. There were no reported activities on day three as part of the evaluation. On day four, CrowdStrike's behavior-based detection capabilities began by revealing beacon activity resulting from persistent execution. Next, CrowdStrike's indicators of attack detect the adversary leveraging the web shell to execute scripts via the Windows command shell. Analyzing behavior-based detections, CrowdStrike then identifies reconnaissance and enumeration commands, such as whoami and ipconfig, to discover information about the new target. The adversary then deploys and executes a renamed version of Mimikatz on the system to harvest credentials using the web shell. Finally, on the fifth and final day of the evaluation, the adversary begins the day by tunneling network connections to the C2 servers. The threat actor then creates a renamed psexec binary and transfers the ingress tool through the web shell to the target. The Falcon Complete team leverages the Falcon platform to reveal events related to the file interactions. Events related to the psexec executable, a popular live-off-the-land binary used by administrators and attackers alike, are detected as the actor moves laterally and interacts with a separate system with another compromised user all of which were detected by the CrowdStrike Falcon platform. Finally, the adversary exfiltrates data related to the SQL database. CrowdStrike detected that the attackers read data from the database backup and split it into 20,000 byte chunks to conceal within an image file before using a compromised mail server to email the data out of the organization. And with that, it concludes the final day of the evaluation. As we have seen, the combination of the Falcon platform, along with the expertise of the Overwatch and Complete teams, go on to track this adversary step by step. Customers are kept informed of updates to the investigation with a built-in module called Message Center within the Falcon console, which allows for near real-time communications. CrowdStrike was able to quickly track when Helix Kitten moves laterally to additional machines, download external tools, launch Windows utilities for living off the land techniques, and even the theft of additional credentials and data exfiltration. Outside the results from the MITRE attack evaluation, if Falcon Prevent Next Generation Antivirus were enabled, it would have showcased even greater capabilities provided by Falcon Complete by preventing the initial access and stopping the attack even before it started. 
and as important as it is to quickly detect threats, Falcon Complete also provides remediation to stop adversaries in their tracks and prevent an intrusion from escalating, which also weren't assessed in this MITRE ATT&CK evaluation. The 2022 MITRE ATT&CK evaluations for security managed service providers demonstrate how CrowdStrike's powerful combination of security technology and human experts lead the industry. And that doesn't even cover CrowdStrike's entire MDR story.